I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person, we got the Eight of Swords and it, it's with the Ace of Swords. <clears throat> Now, the Eight of Swords is showing that you could have been holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future, or you're wary of getting hurt by a new situation, or maybe for no reason at all. So you have to think through what it is you're afraid of. Because the truth of the situations, they're probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. Now it's with the Ace of Swords, which can indicate a new beginning of some sort in your life. So it's possible on several fronts. But just know that sometimes this new beginning, it gets started by a separation of some kind. Maybe from a relationship, from a job, or maybe a situation. But just know that as anxiety producing as such a new beginning can sometimes be, underneath it all is actually really good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go. So, Eight of Swords clarified by this Ace of Swords is the reason past energy between you and your person. And the message that I'm getting for you is that Yeah, your person, they wanted a new beginning with you, but it looks like you held back. You were not moving forward with this person. And you, you probably were thinking about cutting this person out. But they wanted a new beginning with you or either a fresh new start. Yeah, but you did not move forward. Because if you look at the Eight of Swords, it's the card above the word pass. Um, this man, he's caged himself in with all these swords in front of him. There's a hot fire behind him and a huge bull. He could easily put one foot in front of the other and run. But no, <laughs> you, just, you just stood there. Yeah, you're thinking about cutting this person out. But they wanted a new beginning with you. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what we got coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got the Three of Swords. And it's with the Lovers. Now, this Three of Swords. With this one, it's an element. There's an element of sorrow. And it's undeniable. When you get this card in a reading... But keep in mind, what's on the other side of this sorrow? It can be enhanced understanding and joy. So, allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow, pain, or sadness that comes up. This way you can move past it. So, this card, it can point to a deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. Just know if you deny any pain, it will not make it go away. So, once again, allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up. But don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However, only you can decide how long is long enough. And others will not be able to do this for you. So, Cancer, coming up, Three of Swords, ends with the Lover's Card. Now, the Lover's Card, it's actually associated with the astrological sign of Gemini the Twins. So, it's possible when this card appears, you're feeling ambivalent about a relationship or a situation. It could be that your heart is, tr is trying to tell you one thing, but your head is trying to tell you another now, the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that we operate under at a time. 
they say it's either fear or love, but when you get the lover's card in a reading, it's saying it's safe to choose love because it's actually the time when love is brought to you in big, bold, capital letters to the center stage of your life. <clears throat> now, this would be either a new relationship or a powerful rebonding of an old one. Either way, you'll be really happy about how romance is going. And other people will notice. Yeah, they'll notice you're glowing. Now, coming up, Three of Swords, clarified by this lovers. <clears throat> so like I said, your person, they wanted a new beginning with you. But it looks like you, you were thinking about cutting them out. And you just stood there. You did not move forward with them. Your person sees you as a strong soulmate. Yeah, very strong with the lover's card. Or maybe you know this is your soulmate. Or you, you could be a twin flame here. Lover's card can be a twin flame. It's a deep connection. It's a union. It's a coming together. Lover's card can mean that somebody's falling in love. So maybe a person is falling in love or... Maybe you're falling in love and you just, you just don't want to put your foot forward. You're afraid of getting hurt by this connection with the Three of Swords showing up. Yeah, Three of Swords can be about closing yourself off, maybe feeling rejected, shutting each other out, being hurt. It can be about severing ties. But what I'm getting is that, yeah, you're afraid of getting hurt by this connection. You know that it's a strong, this person is your soulmate or a twin flame, or they know this, or maybe the both of you know it, but you just, you can't do it for some reason. You can't put your foot in front of the other and you just rather stand there. You're afraid of getting hurt by this connection. So we move on over and we take a look and see what the challenge is. Well, we got temperance ends with the nine of wands. Now, with temperance, your relationships, they could be going quite well, but you may need to look at any deeper personal issues and see if they're standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. Because the idea is, it is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and your relationships and with any goals and aspirations you have. Now it's with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands, with this card, the first and the best step is often to take a deep breath, calm down, don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, if you can do so. Because at least some of the worries, they're going to turn out to be imaginary. So try to get very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Ask yourself, what's the true likelihood of the worry actually happening? So your challenge, cancer, temperance, clarified by nine of wands. Yeah, it looks like you still, you just want balance to be brought back into your life. Yeah, peace of mind. Anything you feel guilty about, any mistakes you've made. Um, it looks like you could be trying to forgive yourself and let it go. Because you know it's the only way you can truly make progress. And find balance and peace of mind. So you could just be trying to bring balance back into your life. Because it looks like... 
Looks like this situation might may be causing you some anxiety. Yeah, nine of wands can be about anxiety. Yeah, needing some breathing space. So you might feel like you want some time away from this person or the situation. Yeah, it's causing some anxiety and you just want you want peace of mind now. Yeah, I don't know what this person did to you, but Yeah, you're closing yourself off because of Nine of Wands. The card below the word challenge, it can be about not budging. And you put up a barricade. No one gets past your barricade. So, let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got two kings here. King of Swords. That's the one at the top above the word outcome. And then the King of Cups. Now the King of Swords can stand for a powerful, opinionated, forceful man in your life. He will often, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. But it could go either. It could go either way. Yeah. It could go either way. You may be tempted. To think only about how things affect you personally, especially when this card does not represent an actual person in your life. So you may need to consider the feelings of others before you act. The King of Swords, it's a very, very forceful energy. And you may not be able to get this man to this man to change his mind or to do what you want. So you may need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, and or expectations. But don't overextend your reach. Now it's with the King of Cups, which is to the total opposite of the King of Swords. King of Cups is a balanced male and feminine energy. He holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often, he'll indicate an actual person in your life. If this is an actual live person, it's, refer it's referring to a very kind and loving individual who could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. But it could go either way. Either way. Just know that you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen. When you get this card in a reading. Yeah, the King of Cups, it's, it represents kindness and compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is. Whenever you see the King of Cups, keep in mind, if you ever see the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups in your readings or in a reading, just know that those are two of the most loving energies in the deck. It's all about love, kindness, compassion, pure and true love. Whenever you see the king or the queen of cups. So nurture yourself and allow your person to nurture you. What's in the cup? Love. L-O-V-E. So, your outcome, Cancer, King of Swords, clarified by this King of Cups. Yeah, so, King of Swords. Wow. King of Swords is considered the narcissist in the tarot. So, you could start to realize that you're, some of you are dealing with someone that's narcissistic. They can be arrogant. Maybe aggressive, pushy, they overstep their bounds. This type of person, some of, them, some of them can be stereotypically manly. Very forceful, the King of Swords. This person can cut you. Not with the sword, but not only with the sword, but with their words. Very, very forceful energy that we've got here. For the outcome, they tend to use their head over their heart. So, 
why is it showing up for the outcome? Well, some of you are dealing with someone like this. But you know that this is a soulmate. You already know it. They know it. It looks like you're trying to cut them out. Their energy bothers you a lot. Because you feel like you could get hurt. Or maybe you already got hurt by this person. And you're not letting them come anywhere near you. Looking at this nine of wands. You just want balance brought back into your life. And the king of cups is here. Clarified by this king of swords is because... Well, for a lot of you, your person, this type of energy, this king of swords type of energy, that's all they know. They probably, probably have been like this all their life, but, but your person, they got emotions for you. I know they say the king of swords, they only use their head and not their heart, but not this one. This person has... They got love for you, Cancer. This is a different type of narcissist. Yeah, your person's got deep emotions for you with the King of Cups showing here. Yeah, I'm, I'm just picking up. They don't mean to be like they are, but they can't help it. This is this is how they were born, or just how they know how to be. But just know this person has a deep love for you. Deep love. But yeah, you're closing yourself off. You just want balance. You want peace of mind. And we all know that peace of mind is priceless. So, Cancer, you do what you gotta do. But your person, they got deep emotions for you. A lot of love. So that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. They do not. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Cancer, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass, and we'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Cancer reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this reading did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, you have to keep in mind, when you get these readings, the roles, the roles can be switched. Yes, they can. You could be them, or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, well, guess what? The other person could actually be a friend. Could be a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because like I said, these are general readings. Yes, they are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Cancer, I can never see it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. I'm wishing all of you a Happy New Year's. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.